Cooper! What do you think of my statue? Ha! <laughs> Looks like a real pigeon magnet. Ah! I hope you can fly like a pigeon, Cooper! Otherwise, you'll never catch me! We'll see about that! A magnificent likeness, isn't it, Cooper? Almost as handsome as the real thing! Huh, yeah! Looks almost big enough to contain your overinflated ego! Take a nice long look! I want you to remember the one who crushed you! Looks to me like you've got nowhere left to run, El Jefe. Ready to face me now? <laughs> Sticking up for the family, eh, Cooper? Too bad you'll never see any of them again! <laughs> oh, Cooper! You've climbed so high! And now... <laughs> You're gonna fall! <laughs> I'm gonna dodge these fireballs. I'll get close. Welcome to your doom, Cooper! Don't worry, I have that effect on all cowardly crime lords. El Jefe. Hmm, isn't that Spanish for big baby? Ah! Enough of these stupid games!
There won't be anything left. Self down here and take your whooping like a man, Sheriff! Oh, blast you! Then you see, Kid Cooper! I'm gonna lock you in the deepest, darkest hole! And that's going to throw away the key! Give it up, Toothpick! The fat lady is sung and you are done! Oh, am I? Hey. My gun! No! <laughs> Thanks, Kid! Lou Paradox sends his regards! Adios, Kitchen! Relax, pal. I'll take care of this. It's all over, Cooper! Wake out the day over a fight! Watch for the laser! Why is everyone using lasers? Can't 
stay in one place. Gotta keep moving. You look just like a flea on the It's too bad you can't shoot. Did you forget your glasses? this wrecking ball. Just took care of that, Bentley. No, why? The train! It's headed for a broken bridge! I'm guessing that wasn't part of the plan? Why? You have to get off that train! Jump to the van! Murray, hit the brakes! They're not working! And I can't shut down the rockets! What? You idiots! You call this a van? Oh, I knew this was a van. I knew I should have had you send me back to Paris. Oh, I can't believe it's going to end like this. What in tarnation are they doing? And I was just wondering where that gold had got to. Bentley? Sorry, Murray. This has to work. Hey, that's my necklace. Here goes nothing. I should have made that left turn. <laughs> it's gonna be nice, like sugar and spice, when I put that Cooper gang on ice. Riz? No way I'm letting this chump get away. Bombs away! The Murray's got a beef with you, punk! Murray, we have to help him. Wait a sec, guys. Murray can handle this. What? Yeah, it's okay. Bentley's right. My money's on the hippo. Oh, snap! What have we here? It's a pink nightmare. Trust me, pal. You ain't dreaming. I'm tired of you Cooper chumps. The paradox, everybody. All I ever really wanted to do is skate. That's right. Uh, okay? No, 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 no. It ain't okay. You know why the Grizz love skating? It's clean, man. It's like just me and the ice. No complications, no hassles, no worries. Ever since I was a little kid, a little cub, it's the only time I truly feel free. And now, you Cooper Punk roll in and you gonna spoil my dream? Well, it ain't going down like that. You better check the script back, man, cause the Grizz is about to show you how to skate.
Lonsbury. You were great. That performance was definitely a ten, pal. Marie. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I guess this makes up for all my screw-ups lately. Murray, we all make mistakes. It happens. But it doesn't matter because we're a team and we all have each other's backs. That's why we're unbeatable. Yeah, what he said. Today, you were the hero, Murray. And don't you forget it. Aw, oh, shucks. Hey, I'm starved. Anybody bring anything to eat? French fries? Pizza? Anything? An apple, even? Now, foul demon, face the fury of Sir Gallus Cooper! Gallus, no! Mayhap Sir Bentley had a point.
worse and alack, I feel as though I have been ground into sausage. I... are you hurt, Sir Galleth? Methinks I am still whole. I thank you, milady, but must confess, rescue by a fair damsel wounds me deepest. I think I understand. What do you say we make this our little secret? I would be thrice grateful and in your debt. What a fair and gracious maid you are, Carmelita. I think I like the sound of that. I'll sally forth and smash that mechanical monstrosity! No! Gallop, wait! Why, thank you, Gallop. I've been looking all over for that. She is making her escape! I don't think so. Ron Penelope, feeling this arm? Cooper, it's time to pay the fiddler. That's enough, Penelope. 
Huh? You heard me. Hentley, your suit, is that my... my moat monster? Yeah, what's left of it anyway. The design was... adequate. I made some adjustments. Hmm. It was just a prototype anyway. Why'd you do it, Penelope? You owe me that much at least. Why? For you, of course. I had to make you see how things could be. I'm not going to be one of the bad guys, Penelope. Ha! Huh, bad guys? That's kind of funny, Bentley, seeing as how you work for a thief. But you know the most valuable thing Sly ever stole? Your potential! Together, we could change the world, but you're still chasing after honor for chump change. When are you gonna wake up? So you sold out to La Paradox for the money? No, you're not listening. He's just a means to an end. Wow, but I thought you were smart. Do you really think he's going to just let you go? He owns you now. You're his puppet. And when you've served your purpose, he's going to cut your strings. I'm nobody's puppet. Too bad I can't say the same for you. I'm sorry, Bentley, but I guess it's time to make this breakup official. Penelope, wait! We don't have to do it like this. Oh, I think we do. It's time to cut some strings for good. You need a recharge! Whoa! Talk about user error! You're running on fumes! Sorry about Penelope. No, Sly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you guys the whole time. It's okay. She fooled us all, pal. I guess. But that's no excuse for me not being there. I lost sight of my true friends. That won't happen again. Uh, hey, guys! Uh, we could use some help over here! Sounds like they need some help getting out of there. Know anyone that could swing that? Well, I do know this one guy, but he's probably busy, so... I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Bentley. This is your fault, Cooper! Orchestrate your demise! Why?
See if this game is fit. How boring. already reached maximum weight capacity. Uh, perhaps due to my beautiful new guest? Carmelita! <laughs> Get your paws off me, you noxious windbag! But we had a deal! I made you the documents, and you promised me the lost masterpieces! Mozart, Beethoven, romantic nights on the Riviera! Yes. Uh, well, Thank you so much for my papers, but it wouldn't have worked out between us. I'm just not into big noses, and as for your music, hmm, how can I put this? It stinks worse than I do! <laughs> Why, are you filthy, backstabbing, two-timing scoundrel! <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. And as for you, Cooper, 
Don't even think about trying anything. Otherwise, we're going to find out if your girlfriend can fly. I don't see any wings, do you? Touch me again and I'll break both your arms! Sly! Don't worry, Carmelita. This isn't over. Isn't it? In fact, I believe there is a perfect saying for this situation. The fat lady, she has sung. <laughs> Au revoir, Slade Cooper! Ah well, c'est la vie! Why'd you do it, La Paradox? Why the ancestors? Why not just come after me? What's the deal? The deal? The deal is you, Coopers. You destroyed my father, and you almost got me. But not quite. And when I rebuilt myself, I swore I would erase the Cooper name from history completely. And so today, my revenge will be complete. It is time now for you to go. Bon voyage! Sly! Cook on your pithy garment! Woo! Wait! Cut that closer than a ten dollar shave! Making my time here is up. Take care, Tennessee! I will crush you! this thing. We all need to leave right now. That maniac just tore a hole in time space. I need to finish this fight here and now for the whole Cooper clan. And I'm the only one who can glide out of here. This whole blimp could disappear any second. Right. So there's no time to argue. Just go. Sly, I... I know. Me too. I will teach you to fight like a gentleman. And how would you know? Ha! I'm going to save that Cooper tongue for last. You know, when I'm done with you, I'm going to crush the rest of your little guy. The only thing that's gonna get crushed is your ego. It's too bad you didn't work all me. It wouldn't have worked out. I'm allergic to morons. What? You cheated! What the? A lucky break, Cooper. You'll be lucky if I only break your neck. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Excellent work. I'll teach you a lesson. Oh, looks like somebody just lost his temper. You can't win, Cooper. Deep down, you know I should. Wait, did you say posterior? There is something wrong with this stupid sword. Sly, do you read me? Get out of there, Sly! Where is that little weasel? I know it's difficult, Cooper, but try to keep up! This thing is coming apart at the seams. Don't fall! Then I won't get the chance to kill you myself! <laughs> so, before we finish this, let me get one thing straight. You came after the Coopers because of what happened to your father? No, you imbecile! 
I came after the Coopers to prove that Le Paradox is the greatest thief who has ever lived. Is there any doubt? And I have stolen their most valued possessions. Then what does that make me? Um, an idiot? You had it made. You could have been the biggest thief of all time, but you had to target my ancestors. Blast it, imbecile! Hey, let go! Now, now, think of your blood pressure, Cyril. I detest you, Cooper. The very sight of you fills me with rage. I thought we were gonna be pals. This is not right! My plan was perfect! Sorry, pal. You just can't plan for a pooper. Just please help me! Why should I? I do not wish to die! I guess you won't be doing any harm from a prison cell. So you won't get away with this. I'll find you. Au contraire, Sly Cooper. I do not think we will meet again. <laughs> It's been a while since that night, but there's still no sign of Sly. Or that cursed blimp. The skunk could barely tread water. So by the time they picked him up, he was happy to see them. Word is he earned a special cell in solitary confinement, where the only thing he'll be collecting from now on is gray hair. Both Paris and the Thievius Raccoons were back to normal, but that hardly made us feel any better. At first, we just waited, assuming Sly would show up the way he always did. But as the days stretched into weeks, we had to face the fact that he was truly lost. We've stopped talking about it all the time, but I know it's all we're thinking about, even if we show it in different ways. Murray seems like his usual cheerful self, but I can tell there's a new level of seriousness underneath it all. He's on the professional wrestling circuit now, and he's really been pushing himself. I know he's doing it to keep his fighting skills sharp. Like all of us, he wants to be ready for action the minute we locate Sly. Carmelina returned to Interpol, where she threw herself into her work, busting criminals at a record pace. She's been so busy, I haven't seen her for a while now. My sources tell me she's conducting her own investigation into Sly's whereabouts. Out of everyone, I think she took his disappearance the hardest. Even if she never shows it. At least not in public. 
As for myself, I continue to search. Even using all my technology, I haven't found a clue. The time machine is no help since we need to know where Sly was for that to work. I get discouraged sometimes, but I'll never give up. Because I know Sly's out there, and I know that wherever he is, we will find him!